Absolutely, Alex. And one of the things I've got to tell everybody, you've got to understand, and those of you who are Christians have got to play, pay, excuse me, you've got to pray for the people who are absolutely in state office that are standing up in federal office because, look, they have assassination teams, just like the old video serve, uh, series America. You remember where the Russians took out? They took out all of Congress and the Senate? Well, these guys got the same plan. Anybody that doesn't go along, they either pay them off or they blow them away. And, 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 or set them up. And they made that show with Chris Christopherson off of real plans that have been drawn up. But instead of Russians doing it, it's this international corporate takeover. And just like Operation Valkyrie was used against Hitler, they're going to use the continuity of government grid as their playbook and cover to take over. Steve Quayle, stevequayle.com is our guest. Infowars.com is uh, my main website along with prisonplanet.com. We'll continue to have Steve on throughout the week with reports as he learns more with people on the ground there in Montana. You will definitely have important reports here on this radio show. Steve, I want to jam in a few final calls. I'll continue with the calls after you leave us. Uh, up next here is, let's talk to Diane in Montana. Diane in Montana, where this is going on. But as Steve said, it's happening everywhere. Uh, Diane, what's your info? Okay, September 9th. Steve, I don't know if you'll remember me from Superior, Montana, no. which is about 50 miles west of Missoula. Right. We had a small incident where there was a bunch of SUVs, black Hummers, you name it. It was all there. They even brought a helicopter in. It was four miles from my home. So when we went to check it out, um, I, there was a husband that went down there and talked to them personally. They were all over climbing the mountains in camo, dressed up. Had, they were armed, and they said they were just doing a training exercise. Called the sheriff's office, and we got the same story. It's just FBI training, but it was FEMA. Right in Superior. And we're probably about maybe 4,000 population. Well, I need everybody in the area to get cameras. They're very cheap now, video cameras, for as cheap as $100 that shoot decent quality. Everybody needs to be shooting this and uploading it to YouTube. Steve Quayle. Well, I think, uh, you know, that's obvious. And, and as we're talking, Alex, I think that people need to become eyes and ears and email you stuff in real time and, and make, a, you know, put video important of stuff. Don't just, you know, go out and just take dormant military vehicles, but vehicles that are in motion, like uh, the, the report we just got. And let me share this, too. Uh, we, we, people have got to stay up on this. You know, there are reports of sailors being vaccinated. I stated, and this is critical for people to understand, and you guys in the Pentagon, shame on you. I stated that the easiest way to deal with America before a full-scale assault in this country was to poison the vaccines and then let them be tested on servicemen. And because of this is a matter of national security, Alex, big time, we're not going to get any true reports. And but now we're hearing uh, Bob Chapman's confirmed with his sources, and he's always been accurate, that they're dying on the ships, not just quarantining them. Well, absolutely. And see, this is the thing, too, that people have got to understand, that we have we have a specific concern out there for whatever it's going to be. They're going to initially utilize the H1N1, H5N1, whatever else they come up with. But the idea is this, is to scare you. And if we provide the information, Alex, and God bless you for what you do, all the different information that should be an antidote for fear, because that's what we're talking about. All right, let me ask Diane in closing, what did the locals think and how many FBI FEMA troops were there? Okay, there were six vehicles when my husband went right by them. He called back and said, lock down. I don't know what's going on, if there's escape prisoners or what. Same time, helicopter came through right overhead. Called his secretary who was coming in on I-90, told her to check that area out and look at it. And that's when she saw all the camo guys all over the mountainside just crawling up. Asked around town. People didn't think anything about it. Yeah, this is insane. They're definitely probing and testing. Thank you so much, Diane. Let's cram in another call here. Let's talk to uh, Jeremy in Alaska. Jeremy, what's your intel? How you doing, Alex? Hey, buddy. Um, actually, uh, I'm a sovereign. I'm in Alaska. Um, I, I want to commend you on the work that you've done, sir. I, you're not responsible for waking me up, but you're definitely one of the people that kept me awake. Um, I've been studying uh, law over the last year, and uh, I'm a uh, lieutenant colonel in the um, 
in, in the Marines for 35 years and also some other people that are international attorneys. And from what I'm understanding is there's this NAFTA free trade agreement. Yes, and under that they have a military sharing agreement, 2002-2008, to occupy the U.S. with foreign troops. That is mainstream announcement. Steve Coyle. Well, and, and again, that's absolutely correct. And I think everybody's got to understand this by putting us into a level six bio emergency under the World Health Organization. In essence, who just got appointed head of the, the United Nations Security Council for the first time? The President of the United States. Putting it all together, Alex, I don't believe there is a more totalitarian, more disconcerting uh, picture of the partitioning off, the selling off, the giving off, the uh, pirating off of the United States, its assets, and its people. And by the way, the numbers that they're talking about, 50 million people, that's the minimum amount of people that the globalists want to kill. They actually uh, all want All right, Steve Quayle, we will get a report from you tomorrow. Can you join us again tomorrow? Yes, I can. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, uh, everyone, for listening. Thank you. While he's on hold, let's get him set up now. I'm going to come back with a recap of this, other key news, announce the contest winners, and you will be hearing more on this show about what's happening up there. I'm going to leave it at that. We'll be right back.